happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i'm going to be doing some gel x nails today and um bt art box was kind enough to send me over some products for review and so i'm going to go ahead and show you all the items i'm going to be using for this gel x set so they were kind enough to send over their Gelex system, which includes a lamp, their builder gel and top coat, as well as a solid nail gel. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the solid nail gel here. So this is what it looks like. And it says that it's versatile and beginner friendly, which is great. Um, and it's solid nail gel, it's 1.5 ounces. And the packaging is really nice. Um, and I like this applicator a lot because essentially you can control the amount of product that you put into the nail. And so this here just gives you an idea of the viscosity of it. It looks like it's a pretty thick viscosity, which is good for me. I like it when um, these type of products are a little bit thicker because it gives you a little bit more control over the gel. So we got this. They also sent this duo and it's the X-Coat French Tip Protecting Duo, okay? And so this I think you're supposed to use to reinforce the nail after you apply it with the solid nail gel and then add top coat, which is great. Yeah, it came with the reinforcement gel. And so yeah, this here is the reinforcement coat. I think you're supposed to put this on top of the nail after you've applied it to your um, natural nail. And this is what the bottle looks like. It is 12 ml. And so yeah, let's take a look at it. It is a very thick viscosity. Yeah, very thick, which I actually like. So that means that um, it'll add a, a nice amount of strength to the nail after you apply it. So that's good. And I found too that when doing press-ons, um, it doesn't really matter the application method that you use. It's nice to put on like a base, tote, base coat and a top coat to ensure longevity and so that the press-on nail, the, the design on it doesn't peel away. So it's great that they actually include this with that kit. Then they also included um, a top coat here. Oh, it looks like the bottle got shipped here, but yeah, it's still 12 ml as well. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. The top coat is a little bit more of a medium viscosity, but it still has a slow drip, so it's still kind of thick as well. But um, yeah, that's what the top coat looks like. Alrighty. And then they also included a lamp, which is great. So um, this is a mini LED lamp. Nice. Okay. I don't know that I've seen one like this before. This one seems of like decent quality, like really nice quality. So it has the logo here at the top. This is what the side view looks like. It has six lights in here, which is really good. And that's the bottom. And then it has a C port for charging. So this is the cord that they included. And then it didn't come with a base, so then you'll just need to get a block. I like the length of the cord as well. It actually reached my desk, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Let me go ahead and plug it in really quick so you guys can see. All right, so it's plugged in. Let's turn it on. Okay. That's what it looks like here. And then, like I said, it's the six lights. Let me see. It don't have instructions. Okay, yeah, the instructions are here on the box. It says, connect USB, tap power button for a 60 second cure, or press and hold power button for 120 second cure. Okay, I like that. So you need a cure for 60 seconds or 120 seconds. Nice. So if you press it down once, this is 60 seconds. But if you turn it off and press and hold it for two seconds, it pops on and so then it'll cure for 120 seconds. I like that. I don't know that I've seen any lamps that kind of have this feature, nor have I seen any lamps that, that have this design. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, yeah, it seems like it's pretty high power. It doesn't say what the wattage is for the lamp. It says it's 50 hours, 50,000 hours lifetime. Oh, it's a six watt lamp, okay. So it is a six watt lamp here, okay. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Um, and then they also were gracious enough to send me some press-ons and y'all know I absolutely love BT All Box press-on nails. They are so good, you guys, like really great quality. They sent me two types of the French tip. Both have the pink base. Actually, this one's a little bit pinker. This was a little bit more of like a nudie pink. And um, 
yeah this was a medium square and this one here looks like a long coffin so let's take a look at both of these and see what they're looking like so it does come with instructions here that tells you how to apply it so you make you want to make sure you go through and take your time to read the instructions i'm pretty experienced on gelx now so i don't really need to read through like that i'll probably skim it um off camera but yeah make sure you guys read it these are the beloved press on nails you all know i absolutely love me some btr box press on nails oh that's pretty cool they have like these little protectors here i guess it's to stop it from moving around in the packaging it's pretty nice um but yeah y'all so these are the nails i mean just really high quality press ons y'all thick at the base thick at the top i mean these things last forever Fit my thumb perfectly sidewall to sidewall. I mean, these are just so freaking cute. I can't even right now. Wow. Um, so yeah, these are the medium uh, square ones. I love that it comes with 15 different sizes, meaning that it should be something for to fit everybody. Anybody from wide nail bed to really narrow nail bed. Like look at this smallest one. This is for uh, uh, the pinky and that's like super 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 narrow so yeah i love that they have such a great variety so you should be able to find the nail that fits your nail bed best and when you're measuring them you definitely want to make sure it's sidewall to sidewall so that's the medium square okay and then these are the long coffin okay again i like that they have these little reinforcement thingies here but i'm gonna take this out and again i just love these persons so much so these are all the different sizes that they have the design is really cute it's classic and look at that just super cute super cute but these are the long ones you all can see how long these are and um yeah it's a really good fit on my thumb i love how it's like flush to my cuticle area like these are some of my favorite press-ons like really um and then again like i said 15 different sizes so even going all the way down to the pinky you know it goes really really narrow so yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead and um prep my nails off camera i am going to leave the link to all the products linked down in the description box below and i do have a discount code with btr box i'm gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box and for my nail art in today's video i am going to be using some gel polishes that i recently got in from madam glam so thank you madam glam for sending these over for review i'm super excited to try them out and so these are the colors that i chose let me go ahead and get them unpackaged here the first color that I got here from Madam Glam is Riverwalk, okay? And Riverwalk is essentially like a basic white. Um, I do have the perfect white from Madam Glam. And while I really like it and really enjoy it, it's a very stark white, a white that almost leans a little bit blue. And this one just seems like more of like, um, just like a natural white color. Like it doesn't lean too blue or anything like that. So I'm excited to have this in my collection and to try it out. The rest of the colors I have here is from their House of Life collection. I actually wanted the full collection, um, but they weren't able to send it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get all the rest of the colors here um, as I can. But um, these colors are for the, from the House of Life collection. And so the first color I have here is Guardian Angel. Let's take a look. Oh, yes. It's this really pretty like periwinkle blue. It's really nice and really creamy. It's just really pretty. I love this color. I'm not sure if I have anything like this in my collection or not, but I do like this color a lot. Next color that I picked up here is Inner Peace, you guys. And honestly, this 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 the name of this is so fitting because I've been trying to find my inner peace lately. I've been dealing with stressful times these days, but this is what it looks like. And it's a really beautiful, bright, bright pink. Oh my gosh, I just love the color of this. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love this. I can't wait to try this out. Next color I have here is Taurus Season. And this is a really pretty orange color. It's like a like a muted bright orange, a bright muted orange, which sounds kind of contradictory, but it's really, really pretty. So I got this. The last color I got here is Prosperity. Again, these these uh, names are speaking to me because I am trying to prosper in life right now. Like it's, like I said, tough times these days, but I'm making it. So yeah, this here is a really beautiful green, kind of like a, almost a, a jade green color or mint green color. It's really, really pretty. I'm just in love with this entire collection. So yeah, I'm going to get these colors swatched out and then I'll be right back okay yeah look at that it's the opacity for me okay I absolutely love Madame Lamb polishes you all already know I use them time and time again on my channel and just this is just absolutely beautiful this kind of looks like a coral color too 
really beautiful perfect for spring and summer I'm going to cure yeah one coat y'all wow I'm just impressed this is a really beautiful pink color gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm going to cure yeah that's pretty yeah this is a really pretty green it's kind of like a pastel green but then also like a jade and then it's also like mint I don't know there's a lot going on with this green but I really like it I'm gonna go ahead and cure oh this is really pretty yeah this is really gorgeous yeah Madam Glam came out with a they've been coming out with a lot of great collections this year like yeah they they really they really stepping it up this year this here is the guardian angel this one looks like it's going to need two coats which is such a lovely color isn't it and then last but not least i have Riverwalk, which is that really beautiful just uh just nice basic white yeah that's perfect oh it's a little bit thicker this one's a little bit thicker Yeah, very nice. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. So this here is Taurus Season. It's actually a very muted orange. I thought it was gonna be a little bit brighter than what it was. It's still very, very pretty, and I don't have anything like this in my collection. Inner Peace, and this is an absolutely beautiful, vibrant, like, pink color. Kind of leans a little bit Barbie, neon-ish pink, but very, very pretty. Prosperity, absolutely love this green. It's a really nice mint green. This is Guardian Angel, and I really love this blue. It's a really nice, kind of like periwinkle light blue. And then Riverwalk, which is a really nice, basic, creamy white. So yeah, I, have, I do have a discount code on Madam Glam's website in case you all are interested in getting any of these colors. I am going to leave that discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box below. I highly, highly, highly recommend Madam Glam polishes. They're actually one of my favorites. I have tons and tons of reviews of them on my channel. So um, I'll go ahead and link that playlist as well. So if you all want to know about their performance and longevity, definitely take a look through my previous videos and you will see. And so yeah, y'all, let's hop into this tutorial. I decided to go in with the medium square nails and I do have my nails already sized out and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and um, prep, prep my natural nails here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip off my natural nails and so that they'll be ready to go. Poor nails. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these in the trash. Look at me. I'd be so sad when I clip my nails. I love my natural nails. Anywho, let me pop these in the trash. And then next, you want to go around and just kind of crisp it up the shape. I'm just gonna keep it just like a really nice rounded shape. Alrighty, so this is what my nails are looking like now. I am just gonna um, dehydrate them with some alcohol because like I said, I'm not gonna actually keep these on too long, so I'm not gonna go through like the actual prep for my nails. So I'm just gonna dehydrate them with alcohol. And after I've dehydrated them with alcohol, now I'm gonna go in with my favorite peel off base coat and this is from Moran. I'm gonna apply that to all the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. If you all were planning on wearing this set for a long period of time, you would skip the step of adding peel-off base. This peel-off base coat I really like because it typically lasts me about um, three to five days. Cure for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so it's been cured for 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my press-on nails. And so the first thing you want to do is um, take your nail. Oh, I forgot to show you all. When you're sizing out your nail, you want to make sure that they're sized out properly, sidewall to sidewall. So I'm going to show you all on this nail here how it fits exactly from my sidewall to my sidewall. Right, and it's nice and flush against my cuticle as well. So that's how you know you got a good fit for your press-on nail. So yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get the solid nail glue, okay? And they do claim that it lasts 28 days, which is really awesome. All right, so I wanna make sure I have my nail lamp ready. 
and I am going to go ahead and click it on and I'm going to click it for the 120 seconds because this actually goes pretty fast. So what you'll want to do first is you'll want to take the, the nail tip and put a little bit of glue in it. You don't really need a lot. So I like to just kind of put a lot of it kind of at the base. It looks like it should be enough. I'm going to do two more right here. And this should be enough to feel the whole length of the nail. Okay, and then what you want to do is you'll flip the nail around and you'll get it lined up straight to the cuticle. Okay, take it to the cuticle first and then push it all down. Once it reaches the end of the nail, you'll run it underneath your lamp like so. And you'll cure it for about 15 to 30 seconds to get it in place. And then once you do a flash cure like this, then you'll be okay to go ahead and put it underneath your big lamp for 60 seconds. Since I flash cured it, I did see that I had a lot of overspill. And so since it's just flash cured, I should be able to remove some of it. Yeah, I'm gonna remove what I can because I really don't need all of that underneath my nail. <laughs> I'm gonna just remove what I can from underneath. This is what it looks like flash cured. It's been a while since I've done gel eggs, so I'm gonna have to go around and just file that off. But I'm going to move on to the next nail. I'm going to use less product for sure. So again, I'll repeat the process. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of product to the base. And really, you need to use less than what I did. So I'm just going to use a little bit like here. And just kind of sp like spread it out at the base. And honestly, you guys, this should be plenty. And then what I'll do is at the root of the nail, I'll take it. Press it down and let it go down the length of the nail. That's perfect. And then you put it underneath your lamp and cure. Alrighty, so this is what the two nails look like. Again, I do have spillage, so I'll show you guys how to clean that up here shortly. Um, but I'm going to show you all that one more time on another nail. So you take your nail tip, you put a little bit of glue in it. This time I'm going to start a little bit further up on the nail. Let's see if that helps. And this should be plenty. So before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and take my lamp, turn it on, like so. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take it, put the nail at the base, like so, bring the product out, and then cure. There we go. That's the that's the application I was looking for right here. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done gel X, but this is the application I'm looking for where there's no spillage at the cuticle, very minimal product underneath the nail. There's a little spillage over here. I could file that off easily. So this is how you want to apply it. So the idea of applying it a little bit further up the nail works beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and illustrate that to you all one more time. So again, you'll want to take your nail tip here apply the product a little bit further away from the cuticle so like so and then the rest of it you'll just wipe away just a smidge more just in case like so okay so that's how much product i have flip it over get my nail lamp ready okay start at the base all right and then work your way down put it underneath the lamp so yeah, this is perfect application here with the minus of these two nails, which, I, which I'll show you all how to clean up here shortly, but I'm going to go ahead and put these underneath my big lamp for about 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails look like after they've been applied. I did do my thumbnail off camera. There was just slight spillage on this nail here. But again, I'm going to show you all how to clean that up. The first thing you want to do is separate the gel from your skin. So that's what I always do when I'm needing to clean up Gel X nails like this. Just whatever you can separate from your skin, do so, so that you don't end up, um, you know, nipping yourself while you're filing. Over here is just this, and this one actually was a perfect application. So then now I'm going to go in with my nail drill here. I have a cordless nail drill, and I do have a full review on this one. This nail drill is really nice and handy for gel like nails. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on and um, just file away that area. coming up very easily. Seems like the product is really rubbery, which is good. Oops. Means that it'll probably have a really good hold. Off. 
want to be careful around that French tip because I don't want to mess up the design itself. And it files off really easily as well. This is what the nails look like all filed and ready to go. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and file off these little tabs that's at the end of the, the nails and just give it a nice sharp look. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the BT Art Box Reinforcement Gel. And this is the gel that I think just adds more strength to the press-ons. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've done full wear tests on these nails. I'll leave the videos linked in the description box below with them as is. These nails are really strong, don't really need it, but it's good that they included it. So I'm gonna go ahead and still use it. Here for 60 seconds. Well, this is what it looks like with one layer of the reinforcement gel. Now I'm going to go in with the top coat and after I apply the top coat I'm going to go in with a really quick and simple nail design. It seems like a really nice top coat. Easy to apply. Flip for 10 seconds, cure for 60. This is what the shiny top coat is looking like so far. I'm really loving how the set is turning out. So next I am gonna go in with these colors from Madame Glam. So I'm going in with Taurus Season, Inner Peace, Prosperity, and Guardian Angel. And I'm just gonna draw like some simple flowers on the nails. You have them already out here on my palette. I have my dotting tool and then I also have liner brush here and that's what that's looking like and it's gonna be a really easy nail art design I've actually done this design before and so what I want to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of product on my dotting tool and I'm gonna just create like maybe five dots within a circle so let me show you here so it'll be like one two And then I'll take my liner brush and I'll connect those dots. Just connect them towards the center, like so. Nice. And then I'll alternate colors and do that all throughout the nail. So. I think on this now, I'm gonna go in with the um, tour season here towards the top of the nail. So again, one, two, three, four, five. Take the liner brush and just connect towards the center. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. This is what the first nail is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all one more nail on camera and then I'll do the rest off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect all of those with my liner brush. And again, you just want to bring all the lines to the center. All 
Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and cure and I'm gonna repeat the rest of that off camera and I'll be back for top coat. This is what all the nails are looking like so far. Super cute. It's giving 80s vibes. So the last thing I'm gonna do is go in with top coat and then after I apply the top coat, I'm gonna go in with some AB crystals here and I do have them all flipped out over in this. And so I'm gonna go in with the BT Art Box top coat and apply that to all the nails and then also adhere the rhinestones. My little one is standing next to me. She just woke up, so you will hear cute baby noises in the background. Mommy? Yes, you are. Oh, no, no. You want banana? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you banana. Yeah. Yes? Book. You want a book too? Book. You want a book? Mommy. Yes, you are. Water. You want water? Okay, so you want water, banana, and a book, is that right? Okay, I gotcha. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the rhinestone just here in the middle of the flowers, just to give it a little pizzazz, like so. And I'm just gonna flash here in between each nail so the rhinestones don't move around. I'm gonna use the BT Art Box nail lamp to do that. As y'all can see, this one's already sliding. Mommy. Yes, Yara. A peak. So like so, and I'm gonna just flash cure it here in this lamp. After I flash cure, I'll go ahead and add more top coat and finish up the set. Alrighty, so my nails are all done. Mommy. Oh. I have a special request Mommy. from a special guest. Bye. You want your nails done? What color? Red. You want red? Okay. I'm going to do one nail on camera. Yes. You want to say hi? Hi. You want to say hi to our happy family? Hi. Say hi, happy family. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to have you put one hand here, okay? Just put your hand right here. Alright. So I'm going to do her nails, y'all. We're just going to do one nail on camera, though. But she put in a special request to have her nails done. So we're going to do that for her, okay? Yes. yes. And then from there, I'm going to get into the finished look, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to try to just do this one now. So I'm going in with the LA Colors. So then I'm coming in with the LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish. I don't know what color this is exactly, but um, it's her favorite one to use. Right here, okay? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Here, just don't move, okay? Okay. Mom, look. Yeah, it's okay. I see it, it's okay. It's okay. But if this fly don't move, I'll do two nails on camera and then we'll do the rest off camera. Like it? Oh, I like it. I like it too. How pretty. Now we just gotta let it air dry, okay? Yeah. Okay. Say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. Say I love you. I love you. I love you too. Mommy. All right. Say bye, happy family. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. What's this? These colors? What colors? Okay. What color is this? Pink. Good job. What color is this? Blue. What color is this? Pink. What color is this? And what color is this? Pink. Good job, Yara. You know your colors. Good job. 
Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like. That was a fun little intermission with my little one. So I hope you all enjoyed me. I was glad I was able to capture a little bit of me her doing doing her nails. I normally do them whenever she acts. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil now. All these crusty cuticles. I am going in with my Loved by Verdi cuticle oil. Y'all, this has like become one of my faves. And it's in the flavor green apple. She does have a ton of different um, cuticle oils on her website. She makes them herself. So I'm gonna leave that link down in the description box below. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my cuticles. So we're gonna get into the finish look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this set turned out. This is like the perfect summer Manny. Super classic, super cute, super simple. Loving how it looks. It's kind of crazy to think that my natural nails is, are almost the same length as the press on nails. So yeah, that's just a, a cool observation that I made here. My, my natural nails are almost just as long as the press on. So you all let me know what you think about this look down in the description box below. I do want to give another big shout out to BT Art Box for sending the these products over for review I had a great time working with them I do recommend them I have tried the BT art box nails and I know that they last and so I have no doubt in my mind that these products will last as well because they make high quality items shout out to Madam Glam for also sending these over for review I do also have a discount code with them as well for 30% uh, off of their website and so I'll leave my discount code on the screen and down below in the description box let me know what you think about this set I'm absolutely loving it is super cute and what are some manis that you all are doing this summer like I've been this is the first time I've had a chance to do some press on nails this summer so um, yeah I'll probably be sticking with press on nails if I don't end up doing an overlay on my natural nails like you all have been seeing me do these last few videos but yeah y'all I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye